out the fuel mixture. One condition that can cause a cylinder head seal to fail is also one that you'll need to be aware of when you refill the cooling system. I'm talking about air pockets that can cause localized or general overheating. To avoid these air pockets, you should always follow the recommendations in the appropriate service manual for cooling system refilling. Some of the procedures specify the use of special tools and bleeding devices to avoid trapping air in the system. For example, when refilling the cooling systems on vehicles equipped with 2.7, 3.2, and 3.5 liter V6 engines, you'll need to install a special funnel fill tool on the coolant bottle. Refilling these and other systems may also involve the use of bleeder screws or plugs that help prevent air pockets. The technical service bulletin we have highlighted in this program also specifies an additional step to help ensure a successful repair, and that is replacing the cam sensor seal. Using the old seal is an invitation to a leak, one that could be difficult to distinguish from a cylinder head seal leak. When you've finally gotten the engine back together again, a final step is to verify the repair by running the engine and keeping an eye out for evidence of leaks, both external and internal. You may need to test drive the vehicle before you can be sure that the leak has in fact been fixed. The coolant level may drop as any trapped air works its way out of the cooling system. If this happens, be sure to top off the cooling system and run the engine again to check for drops in coolant level that may indicate a leak. Now that we've covered follow-up and verification, try this final review question. Technician A says engine overheating can cause warpage that can cause the cylinder head seal to leak. Technician B says that overheating can cause pre-ignition that can cause the cylinder head seal to fail. Who is right? A, A only, B, B only, C, both A and B, or D, neither A nor B? The correct answer is C, both A and B. Engine overheating can cause not only head warpage, but pre-ignition, which can damage the cylinder head gasket. And that brings us to the end of this Master Tech program on cylinder head gasket service. Be sure to join us next month when the topics will be the MDS-2 and the 24-valve Cummins diesel engine.